What's going on everybody? My name's Calvin. My name's Angelo. We are the Vision Twins and we lost combined 300 pounds. Now it's our life mission to show the entire world how to do the same thing. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is obesity genetic or just a choice. Guys, we get this question all the time. People think that they are obese just because of the genetics. My grandma's overweight. My dad's overweight. My mom's overweight. Ooh. The food that they bring to the house makes me overweight. Well, we are going to debunk any common misconceptions with our own journey. With We're going to dive right into it, you guys. But before we do that, we have a workout app meant for you to lose weight and get in shape starting in 2023. And shit, finishing off the rest of this year, you can lose five pounds. What you need to do is click the link in our description below, sign up for our free seven day trial to our workout app, everybody. This is your opportunity right now to start your weight loss journey, get ahead of the curve. Don't wait until 2023 to start making the change because anybody that waits that long is not gonna see results in 2023. You need to get started now. Don't wait, lose, lose weight. weight. Let's get this workout thing popping, everybody. But before we do that, again, we gotta get into our video right now. So Here let's start go. talking about it. So number one, our childhood. So we grew up extremely overweight, guys. Everybody kind of has this misconception that, you know, they're born overweight or they're born big, but like, we feel like we kind of, we were small, like we were regular sized toddlers. Like we were like skinny er toddlers, bro. Cause I remember in, in, I'm like, we gonna get to our obesity, but I remember, hold, I remember, the hold fuck on, up. Hold on, hold on, you need to show a picture of us when we was five years old. We was bigger than most five year olds. Bro. I mean, we were probably more like stature cause our dad's a beast though. Our you, dad's mean, you mean like zero to four years old, you were decent, like average size? Yeah, zero to four. And, that's just, and, and then, then we when our bigger. pops went to prison, we got big. So I'm not even gonna let you speed past that. That's racist. We was a bit, what? <laughs> Cause he's what black. The fuck? What the fuck? What are you talking about? I got it. No. I'm fucking with you. When we were younger, we were obviously, you know, average sized kids from like zero to four years, zero. From like till four years old. Zero right? to four. Until we were four years old or five years old, we were average sized kids. And then we ended up starting getting bigger. And we kind of put this in one of our videos before is like our dad, we asked him, why did you let us get overweight? Like, why did you let us get bigger? We were still playing sports. We were always involved with like soccer. We were kicking the ball since we were a kid, but we were still pretty big. We were bigger than every other kid. And he was like, you know, the reason why I let you guys eat whatever you want is because when I was in Honduras, I didn't have all the access to foods like you guys have. So I wanted to give you guys McDonald's, Burger King, all the foods that I couldn't eat as a kid, just because that was his like, reward of being a parent. And so but that's again, too, our childhood. With, with that though, we were like systemized though from a young age, like our whole family kind of fell susception to the whole system. Our mom was like, also or like our dad. Too. Our mom was obese, our dad was fit, and he never had to, he never grew up in this United States culture, but like, you know, when he's talking about giving us that McDonald's and the Burger King, mm -hmm. you know, it's like even grandpa, like our grandpa, rest in peace. Yeah. Um, he gave us chicken nuggets yeah. on the way to school. I remember going to preschool in the morning, he'd be like, you guys want chicken nuggets? We're like, chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets, chicken nuggets. Like we would be in the back like all crazy for chicken nuggets. Like for some reason, just being fed whatever we want was like something that was common growing and up. And like, even to go take that even to the next level, like our dad went to prison. So when we talk mm -hmm. about the institu institutionalization, 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 not a hard word, blood. That is a hard word, blood. Get past high school. That is institutional. Fail, you failed algebra. That has nothing to do with what you you're failed algebra because you were focused on chicken nuggets. It that's why you failed algebra. You fucked up. That's why you failed That's algebra. That's cold hearted. That's cold hearted. Okay, don't try to demean, don't try to turn me into this bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. Don't try, you know. You I'm, are a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> You're terrible. That's me. Why are you saying that? No, I'm not. I'm offended. All right, don't, don't, Fuck turn, you. don't turn me into the bad guy. It's not cool. Evil. Please don't. Angela, don't do that. We've always been fed whatever we wanted. And growing up, that was one of the reasons why we gained weight. So again, we were not institutionalized. Our it's not our, a, a lot of it isn't our choice to decide the foods that we ate. Mm -hmm. Even though as a kid, you want to eat all the unhealthy foods, so you're gonna ask for fucking McDonald's every day. You're gonna ask for the bad food. And your parents, granted, if they're smart, they won't give it to you. They'll tell you no. But for us, we were like, I hate you unless you feed me McDonald's. And our mom's like, oh, let me, I don't want my kids to hate me. Let me feed them McDonald's. We were just terrible kids. Like, bro, we just wanted to get whatever but, we want, manipulative. And like, that's most people are like that. But why did we, why were we like that? Because we were very involved in, you know, even from a young age, we're very involved in the social media aspect, TV. We love watching TV. We love video games. Mm -hmm. And like, we just love the new type of culture that was being brought into the United States around that time. That you know, kids early, are always right. And, early, and, the, and the adults the early, are stupid. Early 2000s, last 20 years is like when all of this has kind of been like- The adults are retarded. Problem. The adults are stupid. The kids know everything. It's not true. 
No, there's not. Like, no, it there's work. no way that shit should be flying. But you know what? With all this guilt tripping that people are doing on parents nowadays, saying if you don't feed your kids whatever they want, if you don't listen to your kids when they complain about everything and you don't find a solution for it, you're just a bad parent. That's not true. fucking bullshit. That's the reason why your kids are failing basic algebra in high school, failing all these like basic things. Yeah. And not, not because I had no reason I had no reason to succeed. My mom was gonna be like, yeah, you're good every you're good anyways. You're gonna be accepted anyways. But though, one thing though our mom did make sure that we did, she said my boys will all graduate high school. Oh facts. She said all my boys are gonna graduate high school. There was no there's no doubt in our mind. She instilled that in us at a young age. She didn't give a fuck if we went to college. She didn't care what we and did. And you really think about it, that's not a big accomplishment, bro. Like you really just have to just show up for high school. Like really, that's really good. Honestly, I, I, thought, I mean, do a little bit of work even, here and there, but like, bro, I was scathing high school. But a, a lot of kids getting C. Hey, but a lot of kids nowadays aren't even graduating high school. Like, because even they're fucking their own. stupid. It's, <laughs> or, they, or they just are institutionalized and they get the, no the because their parents. It all start. It stems from the parents. Yes, yeah, definitely. It stems from the parents as the reason why your kids are the way they are. You, your kids are a reflection of you. So don't be like, oh, my kids are bad. My kids, I can't control them. Bitch, you can't control yourself. I'm sorry, I have kids, to be honest. No, but kids want somebody to put their foot down, need their parents to instill be something in a young age. I, I totally understand. Angela, nobody's respectful. saying you're disrespectful. I gotta be respectful. I'm just Angela, trying. No, you're not disrespectful. I'm, not, I'm gonna be nice and to let you know you're not being disrespectful. Okay. Well, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, our obesity. So we kind of already talked about this. You know, growing up, we were able to eat whatever we wanted. We use that against our mom to be like, you're a bad mom if you don't feed us fucking carne asada fries and burritos. If you're from San Diego or LA or Southern California, nah, just, you San know Diego, just San Diego, just San Diego. No, LA got carne asada fries. Man, don't, don't fucking start with that. It's not good. LA don't got no type of good Mexican food. Yeah, they have carne asada fries. If it's you just go not get, as good as San Diego, people yeah, from the can all agree on that. People anywhere out of California, if you know, if you're from California. You know good Bro, every Mexican gonna food. Every city is going to represent for themselves, obviously. San I'm excited to be in say. Phoenix, so you can, you can find the little couple sets I got them. You can find the, 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 the tacos de gordo. Tacos de gordo. You can find the little... Hey, 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 hey. Our obesity, but Our obesity was built on the fact that we were eating whatever we wanted. And a large part of that was because of our parents feeding us that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, your parents didn't put the food in your mouth. All right, dumbass. No, they didn't. Hey. But if, if that's the only food you got, no, no, I'm going to fucking say this. I'm going to fucking say this, you dumbass. Obviously, the parents are buying the food. They're not forcing it down your throat for the kids to eat it, dumbass. Hey, but if that's the only food stop. you can eat, if that's, I'm gonna cut you off right there. If that's there. the only food you can eat, dumbass. Angela, you're not buying groceries, dumbass. Angela, so don't say that it's not the Angela, kids. Hey, 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 dumbass, motherfucker. Hey, hey, hey. I, it just irritates. It does irritate. It's though. really because it's the low IQ motherfuckers that be like, we oh, the, the parents that have forced the food down your throat. I. What am I gonna say, hey, dumbass? Hey, Angela, stop. If that's okay, the only stop. thing that I, no. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm this. taking away. Yeah, I'm taking away from the top. From the. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you want. If that's the only food that's available, it's not even the fact that they didn't force it down their throat. If there's only cookies and ice cream and bullshit around. You're gonna gain weight. It's not even a question. And then when they be like, "Oh, let me switch to eating a healthy diet," you're gonna be like, "Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Go get me them cookies, bitch." <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's exactly what I said to my mom, but that's how I treated her. I treated her you like did, she, you did try to say that to mom. Fuck you, mom. Did, did, did you you hey, need to go hey, buy me. Hey. I'm tired of chicken. I want McDonald's, bitch. That little. I'm not saying I'm calling my mom a bitch, but I would literally act like an entitled asshole like that. And I'm not saying that's the right way to respond, but that's how I acted. Did I not act like that? Was I not a spoiled brat? Was I not the fuck you, mom? Was I not that? He was the type. He was the type of sit in his room and like curse mom out and like that's the thing. We kind of stupid. Hey, I don't, let me talk. Let me do some talking. All right. I always was the one that kind of like took my mom's side when it came to our obesity. Like during the, the kind of the middle years, you know, the middle teen years of our. It life. was my mom's large part her fault. But, but I'm not gonna hold that over her now. I'm because not like now she made us successful though. We became successful because yeah. of the way that she she treated us and she made sure that she instilled you know core values into our life. She instilled core values at a young age and said you're gonna do this. It's kind of a verbal prophecy. She made it happen and she said it and we had to abide by that. And as a kid, your mind's very molded and very malleable. So if you hear that from your parents, you're gonna automatically think that's what your fulfilling, self-fulfilling prophecy There's, is gonna be for your life. So you're gonna graduate high school. Is it nature or nurture, right? That's basically what it is. Is obesity nature or nurture? You just bringing up some college I think, shit. 
That's I think that's a lot what of they it. taught you in college. They taught me that in college. I think a lot of it is nature the way versus you... nurture. Shut up! God damn! Let me say something. You are saying something. Dude, without you interrupting, bitch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nature versus nurture. <laughs> I think a large part of being obese is nurture. The way you were being raised. <laughs> Stop. Come on. We put that in the past and grow on it. You know what I'm saying? Nurture versus nature. I don't really believe in large part that you're going to be born. I mean, there's a lot of babies that are born big as fuck. But to say that it's all nature that you're obese, I don't know. I, I have to take some credit here. I have to be like, you know what? I did eat a lot of that food. Granted, the food wasn't my choice, but I still ate it. So it's just... It's a slippery slope, but at the end of the day, if your parents are intelligent with what the food that you're eating, they won't let you gain weight. The only way to gain weight is if you eat a lot of food. Yeah. Yeah. So number three, our weight loss. And this is kind of like our weight loss slash our kind of, you know, final say on it. Kind of like, you know, you say? since we lost weight and what our stance is now, I think you guys kind of get the point of what we've been talking about throughout this entire video. It's pretty much been the same shit. It's, yeah. Spread out into 13 minutes. And it, you watched it. <laughs> It looks like it was a choice, guys. It looks like we chose to be overweight. It was never really genetic. We, we never talked to one. We never talked. I don't think we mentioned at one point our grandma was overweight. We forgot to mention that. Our grandma was overweight. Our grandma was overweight. Our grandma was overweight. We did mention mom was overweight. Don't, I don't believe in big bone. That's some bullshit. Our dad. That, that's some, come on. Come we, on. And we're going to post a skeleton. When we go to Sedona, we're going to post that one. You're not overweight. That one. That video is so fire. I love that video. Come on. Come on. We know come what the skin come looking on. like. Come on. Big boned. See, that's the only shit that we learn in our community. Being black, I think that's some shit that is just an excuse. You're not black. You're not black. Half, 25% black? Our dad always told us. I'm gonna us, cling on to that. Hey, our dad always told us that we're not black. My dad's a straight nigga. I don't know what the fuck you, you're not black. Nigga, go look in the mirror. He's not black. He said you guys are not black. My dad is the midnight Scott. Not midnight Scott. He's black. And he gonna say he's not black. He's not African American. He's Honduran, but nigga, you're black. Even, even if you're black in the United States, you're not African American. You're black. Go to Africa. All right, you know what? You know what? This, go to, this go, isn't hold humanities. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, this hold on. isn't fucking college lecture time about fucking ethnicities. Nigga, you're black. You just. You're not. You're not African American. You, are you going back on your word? Are you that? Wait, no, no, no. This is what. Did I you meant. not just say I you're was not, not black? You're not African American. Shut up. You're not African. Shut up. You're not. What did you just say? What they put the little check mark? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because say? this is a lot of our demographics. So let me speak. Because. When you check those boxes, you know, on your SATs or whatever. Bro, this has nothing to do with on the, on the, obesity, on genetic, the start, or a choice. The, hold on, let's start. Stop talk. talking about black. Talk about genetics, nigga. You talking about being black, or... nigga? Nigga, this is stop genetic. saying nigga. Nigga, I can. not Stop. You're, you're not black, not. nigga. I am Because you're not black. Yes, I am black. But I'm not. Think you're not African American. Look at the camera, nigga. Don't look at me. I want to fight you. <laughs> I want to fight you. <laughs> but nah, it's not, bro. It's not. Be cool. <laughs> That's the end of the video, everybody. Make sure to click the link in the description below so you can make the choice and you come up with your own interpretation to lose weight. Come up with your own interpretation. Come up with your own interpretation to the answer is genetic, is obesity genetic or a choice? You don't have to take someone's advice or take someone's opinion as truth. You come up with your own truth. Nigga, I'm speaking facts, nigga! Our truth? That nigga's speaking facts! And we hold our truth to be self evident that any man. Is something something Martin Luther King. Now he, stop it, is black. That's genetic. I'm not no African. Don't, Don't wait. Lose, lose weight. weight. We out, baby. That was a shit show. <laughs> that was a shit show. <laughs>